So I was <clears throat> saying I wanted to receive the application to uh, to accept null username and to ignore the password feed. So what I will just need to do, I will need to recraft the statements. I will need to recraft the statement that will accept uh, uh, a null username and uh, and to ignore the, the password feed. So in most cases, if you if that is executed, the application will look out for the first uh, feed in a in a username. Let's say in a user table. Let's pretend there's a table called user. So the application will look for that first uh, feed in that table. Um, in most cases, the first feed might be an admin user. In most cases, always an admin user, but may not be. But let's try a lot. Let's see whether. So my SQL statement will not look like this. Let's presume that okay, we have a. Uh, maybe let's presume that this application will return a value. If you select the right username, the right username and password, maybe from user underscore table, where the value where let's say USR is equal to the value of the maybe let's say a post uh, parameter for USR and post parameter for let's say <coughs> password let's say uh, wd so what we want to do we want to ignore and uh, let's say the query structure should look like this There's a PWD, right? So this what's I want to think the web application. To assume that this value here is null. You know, in a, in a, if I want to comment out an SQL statement, you can use uh, dash dash to comment. If I, I want to comment at this, to ignore this, these parameters, I just use, say dash dash. So if I want to return a value, that is different which I will just say or I can introduce a Boolean expression. One is equal to one. You know, one will always be equal to one. So for me to set a null value here, I can just uh, put a, an inverted comma. Just say or oh, one is equal to one, which is always uh, one will only equal to one. I can just type anything there. So if you look at this, I have been able to log on as an admin user. I've deceived that application. So that's how to carry out an exploitation of L square. Injections. We have different levels of SQL injections. We have first order injection. We have a second order injection. So that that that's for the 
first challenge. Let's look at the challenge to display the content of all table on the web goods. Let's open up our web goods. Uh, uh, where's my... <clears throat> Open up my web app, uh, open web application. I think I've opened it up right. Okay. Pro oh, apps. Okay, let's open up our online to So we want to look at the SQL injections. All right, so the second challenge would leverage the web goods uh, on how to use web goods to display all the contents of a particular table. So what you need to do, so I will give us as an assignment, you as a classroom, you, you enter your name, let's enter your name is Meets. And uh, you craft it in such a way that you would save the application to display all the content of the user in that particular team. So go through it and uh, let me see what you come out of it. I'll give you two minutes. While you're doing that, let's go to the next uh, challenge. So how do you manually test for string based SQL system parameter using word bricks? So there are a lot of applications that you can play with. So let's open the OAP bricks. The OAP is a OAP bricks. Let me open it in another browser, right? And to be sure that I'm at the right uh, page, right? It should be content page, I guess. Okay, this is the content uh, page. So what we want to demonstrate here, we want to demonstrate another way by which you can uh, test whether an application is vulnerable to SQL injection. You can try um, carry out some mathematical operations, actually where you see numbers. For example, if I do two minus, if I change the ID to one, you should take me to, uh, this, not, this is not right anyway. 
because the application is a very vulnerable application. Let me see. If I do two minus one, which is supposed to be one, if the operation is successful, that means that the application is vulnerable to exploit injection. Let me do four minus three. Four minus two, that's two. So you can see this application is vulnerable. Let me see if I can run do some. I think let's do 50 minus ASCII. ASCII one should be, I think, uh, ASCII one is 49. Let's see, you can see that it's accepting function. This is not nice. It's accepting function. So that's another test for SQL injection. So let's go to chat talent form. So apart from that, you can also introduce some junior operators whether uh, it will accept the junior operators. So there are different ways by which you can different levels of SQL injection. There are, you also have the blind blind SQL injection. You have the uh, uh, the uh, error-based SQL.